Okay, one, two, and three point cubes. Why is the cube so important? It's because it's a six sided unit of directionality and proportionality, meaning that there are six sides that indicate the major directions top, side, side, front, back, bottom, and back and also that all six sides are equal uh, which means that you have a reference for proportion in the wacky world of perspective so that if you draw a cube correctly this little weird parallelogram will look to you to be the same as this square here so when we master that we basically are mastering um, directionality and proportionality um, in space and there's a lot of things in the world that are based on the rectangular prism and uh, that's what the cube is a specialized rectangular prism so um, what we start out with in one point is of course always the horizon line uh, then a vanishing point and then you start out with doing a square uh, that is uh, perpendicular and parallel to the um, horizon line. Um, then after that you draw your convergence lines. So I'm going to start a new one right here. Um, and notice that I'm doing it freehand at first because I'm just trying to guess the proportions, the location on the page, and then I can quickly just put in the convergence lines, and that's what these are called, convergence lines. And you're also going to do the lines that are behind the object. I call those the transparent lines. Um, now notice that I'm right below this vanishing point and you can there's a barely seeing a sliver of the side of it that's where you have to get really exact with it so I'll go ahead and use my ruler now and you really want to pay attention to your verticals and horizontals that they're as accurate as possible or else things quickly get off I'll take this So, okay, so here we have the first part. Now the next thing is to figure out the depth of proportion. Now the one I did here, I think it's a little deep, actually, um, if I'm going to critique it. So what I always say to do is start with the bottom plane, which is the more revealed plane, the one you wouldn't see is actually, in a way, it has a more... Uh, less obliquity than the top plane and I find it's easier to tell the proportions of the cube at that point. Um, again I just do it freehand and then draw it out and then see does that look right. Uh, to me this still looks too deep and this is where the real um, challenge is just to try to get it so that it so that appears more like a cube than a rectangular prism. Now notice this clear ruler is really advantageous in terms of lining everything up, seeing uh, what's underneath it when you make the mark. So I'd say that's close to being correct. Um, close enough. If you get it like that, then you're good. And you would graphite the object lines, which are the contour lines of the object and the lines that indicate the planes of the object. And then you would leave these in blue animation pencil. Uh, I don't erase them completely because I want to see the transparent construction. Uh, two point, you start with a vertical line like that. So again, um, just estimate a vertical point. Here's my two points. 
you don't always have to go all the way to it, just line it up. And then what I do is I start with this face on this one and say, well, that's going to be too thin, that's going to be way too long, it's in here someplace. Uh, I think that's probably like there is where I'm going to want it. And it's, this is a guess thing, uh, but it's training your eye to see the proportions uh, of a cube in perspective. Then you can do the transparent line through there. Now again, I can start on the bottom plane to figure out, well, what's it's going to be? Is this going to be cube-like? Um, let's see if I can do that. I think that's going to look too long this way. So I'm going to actually bring it down like that, try there. Now, when you construct your thing, you, this should line up with this. A lot of times it doesn't, and so you have to figure out, well, am I off in terms of my verticals and horizontals, or what's going on? The way this is looking to me, it's looking a little long this way, um, so I'm going to widen the whole thing a little bit. So I'm fairly close there. Okay, so again, graphiting the contour and then leaving the blue line, construction line in the back. Uh, in all these things, I want to see the construction lines uh, light, but I want to see them. So that's the key. I don't want to see a bunch of really dark construction lines, uh, convergence lines going to the vanishing points. It gets out of control. Okay. Start with a square, start with a segment. With three point, you start with just the point. Um, and so, let's say, and you don't, with and with three point, you don't want to go outside of this triangle right here because then you start getting distortion. So, um, I'm going to start right here. And that's going to be my point I begin with. That's going to be the very corner of the cube. And then how big do I want my cube? I'm going to make it kind of small so it doesn't intersect with other things. And then I can guesstimate, well, what's going to look like a square face. Let's guesstimate here. Mm, that's close. Maybe a little thinner. Now you can do it on the underside. You want to guess or use the face. So that's fairly close there. I actually don't want you to use freehand. I'm just doing it for sake of time right now.
Okay, three point cube. Um, so one, two, and three point. <laughs> 